Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about recursion in Python. Recursion is nothing but when a function calling itself, the process is known as recursion. Okay, so let us define one function def wish, wish is a function name. Okay, after that, the implementations are good morning. So this function is used to print good morning. Next, I am calling the wish function. If you execute this function, it will print good morning. Why? Because we are calling the wish function and wish function is used to execute good morning. This is known as normal function. Okay. Next, here I am calling the function wish. First, we are calling wish function and it will execute good morning. And next we are calling again wish function. So it will execute good morning again. So here wish is calling inside the function. Okay. So we are calling the function inside the function. That process is known as recursion. So it will execute good morning infinite number of times. Okay. So let us take one example that is nothing but write a Python program using factorial by using recursion okay for that def so here i am taking fact fact is the function name and here the parameter is n okay after that if n value equals to equals to 0 then it will print result return 1 Okay, A return is equals to 1. Next, if n value is not equals to 0, then it will Okay, so here I am taking one variable. Result is equals to n into fact of n minus 1 okay so here also result okay after that return result yes next print the factorial of 4 is the factorial of 4 is next we need to call the function that function name is fact of 4 okay so let us execute this program so it will print the factorial of 4 is 24 so let's see the execution process okay so program execution starts from this okay from this line why because Function will execute when we call the function. Okay. So the factorial of 4 is we are calling fact function and passing parameter as 4. So the function is called. Okay. Next here n value is 4. Fact of 4. So n equals to equals to 0. It will check the condition. But n value is 4. 4 equals to equals to 0. Is it true? No. So that's why it will go to else part. Okay. Next it will store result is equals to n into fact of n minus 1. n minus 1 is nothing but 4 minus 1. That is nothing but 3. So, here n value is 4 into we are calling the function again and now we are passing n minus 1. That is nothing but 3. Now, n value contain 3. 3 equals to equals to 0 is not true. Again, it will go to n into. So, before that, n value is 4. Now, n value is 3. So, 4 into 3. 4 into 3 is nothing but 12. Okay. 12 into fact of n minus 1. So, now n minus 1 is nothing but 3 minus 1. That is 2. So, again, it will call to this function. Now, n value is 2 equals to equals to 0 is not false. Again, it will go to this. Now, n value is 2. 
before that 12 into 2 is 24 24 into 2 minus 1 that is nothing but 1 again it will go to this n value is now 1 1 equals to equals to 0 is not 2 again it will go to else part 24 into 1 is 24 again n value is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so again it will go to this now n value is 0 it will res uh, return 1 now the result contain 24 into 1 that is nothing but 24 okay so then it will print factorial of 4 is 24 so we can call this function any number of times now the factorial of 5 is the factorial of 5 is we need to call fact of 5 okay so let us execute this program so here you need to mention comma so it will print the factorial of 4 is 24 and the factorial of 5 is 120 you can call this function any number of times the main advantage of function is code reusability okay i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you